Be. She would have hurt you with a bundle of evil firewood. It was an accident. It could happen to anybody. My children left since morning. I had to fetch the firewood myself. Don't worry. It will be alright. Thank you. You, help her carry the firewood to her home. Hola. The royal guards are meant for you, not for the commoners. If they are meant for me, they should do what I say. Of course, your highness. Do as she says. These are for you. For me? Thank you, my princess. No, no, Let the gods bless no, no, you. No, no, it's all right, it's all right. Let them bless you too. Thank you. Take care of her. Yes, my princess. To go this way. That is not the way to the palace. You forgot it. I know. I want to go to the stream and wash my feet. The palace. And the stream is still far away. You can go to the palace if you wish. Tell my father I'll be home soon. Princess. Princess. I know exactly where I'm going to. Is that it? Oh, who cares? <coughs> Hello. Oh, you can come with me to the wedding. My friends were all disappointed. You know, I would have loved to. But I had to finish this work. But you could have hired some laborers. I would have paid. Then my family would tag me a lazy bag of bones that can't tell his father's family. Well, let me be the judge of that. So, did you miss me? Of course I did. I was afraid that you may have seen a man you liked at your friend's wedding and followed him. <laughs> oh, you just cat. Come, let's go to the stream. What? No, I can't. This work must be completed. Please, no. Just, just for a little time now. See? Each time I look into your eyes, 
This reminds me of how much I love you. Ola, I wish I could spend the whole day with you, but... <coughs> Princess, perhaps we should go home now. No, your men are going to stay here and help him complete his work. Your father will... My father does not need to know what I do. Unless you want to become his eye. But this farmland belongs to our common and... It owner. doesn't matter. It is what I want. Put it. Princess. Princess, let me come with you. Don't worry. I can take care of myself. I'll be back shortly. Princess! Princess! You heard her? The sooner we finish this work, the sooner we get home. Now get to work! I know how it will be. Olam, I dream of it every night. The whole village dancing, singing, clapping. Palm fronts adorn all doors. Lots to eat, lots to drink. All sorts of traditional dance troops with the widest of masquerade, especially the group masquerade. What? The Grube masquerade on my wedding day. Olam, you don't understand. It's for the mayor. My age grade. I would like them to know that the tiger is coming out to take his bride home. <laughs> okay. Oh, my father, how are you going to surprise him? And then, I will hand over Three. Three bags of. Three bags of silver. Everything is going to be all right. My father is going to know how much I love you. I will never ask for that. Everything will be fine. Okay? Olam. Sometimes I. I feel so, so useless and alone. 
because of three bags of silver. Even when I'm by your side. the king what do I tell the king perhaps the princess has gone home without us how can she go home without us I left with her and I must return with her should we take the stream again we have been there several times so what do we do Now, all of us must take different routes. We must find her. Or we are doomed. Now, you, take that way. You, go with these two. Two of you, follow me. Let's go, let's go. Let's Mario! Get up, this stubborn girl. Hola, ma! My princess! Hola! Hola, ma! Hola! My princess! Hola! My princess! Hola! My princess! I sent you on a journey with my daughter, my only child, and you have the audacity to stand in front of me and tell me that you don't know where she is? Your Highness, I tried to warn Ola, but she never listened to me. Ask the mates. Uh, the, the guard. Oh, shut up! You amaze me. What do you mean, ask the mates, ask the warriors? I put you in charge of my daughter, and you're standing in front of me and asking me to ask the mates, ask the warriors. Or oh, whether you disappoint me, and you'll pay dearly for this. Now, let me tell you if by dark my daughter does not return, I shall have all of you publicly beheaded at the village square. All of you. There will be no exception. Uh, perhaps you should send men to the home of the boy she went to see on her way home, please. Uh, does any of you here know the name or or the homestead of this this vagabond who it appears has abducted my daughter. Any one of you? Yes, Your Highness. I heard her call him Buchi. Yes, but we don't know his home or family. Now I want you to search the entire village. Every home, every farmland, every barn. And ensure that my daughter comes back. If she does not return, then none of you Ever set foot on this land 
again. So get out of my sight, all of you. Yes, Your Highness. Um, you, this way. My heart calling you. Amuche, what's the problem now? What is wrong with you? I saw guards and warriors searching everywhere. And so? Ha! Go and play! Oh, like, please. There's some of the house looking for you. What? Wait, that must be my father's guard. My father is looking for me. I thought you said Ogweza will never enter the palace without you and he can wait at the farmland till tomorrow. Yes, but I think they went home without me. Hey! I'm at your house. Oh, let, let me take you home. Okay, you wait here, alright? Tell the guards you've not seen me. Okay? Okay. Sweet dreams. Amuchi, come and show me the path, girl. Hola, be careful. Okay. Yes. Don't. Make up your mind, old man. And if I realize that you're lying, I'll prosecute you without mercy. Yes, we have someone called Abuchi. He's our first son. Where is he? We want to see him. I'm the one. Seize him. Huh? What? Seize him. Let me go. What did he what do? has he done? Let you seize him. Let me go. What what Father! Stop! Stop. 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 What did he do? What did he do now? I'm a cheater! What did he do? I'm a Good afternoon. 
You were supposed to have come home directly from the wedding. Where did you go to? Papa, I, I, I went to see my friend. Which friend? Okawe's daughter, Irima. She was not feeling fine. And her parents were not in the house, so I went to see her. I, I stayed. Did you tell Ogweza or any of the men where you went to? I told them and... Well, Alama, why are you lying to me? Papa, I'm not lying. I'm hey, telling the uh, Please, she's home now. Do not raise your... Quiet! Hey, I want to talk to my daughter without interruption. Hey, Why are you lying to me? Papa, I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. Gods! Yes, Your Highness! Your Highness. I want you to go to Okabue's house. And bring me the daughter Erima. Bring her here, now! Excuse me. Even if she's lying ill in bed, I want her brought here. Yes, yes Your Highness. Highness. Do what you're doing. Now listen. Find somewhere else and go. While away some time, come back later and tell the Igwe that Erima has been taken to the home of an unknown traditional healer. Do you get me? Yes, Lord. Yes, Do Lord. you get me? Yes, Lord. Do you hear me? Yes, Lord. Now go. Okay. Who is this? He is the Abuchi that the Highness, His Highness ordered us to go and get. Release him, let him go. But your highness, I said release him, let him go. My daughter is home now. Well and unharmed. Leave him, let him go. Release him. Now, go and tell the Igwe that you did not find him. Do you get me? Move. Your highness. And you, hey, come here. Come here. No matter how hungry a goat is, Grazing in the middle of the forest is not the best. There are wild animals. I warn you, look for yourself a safe grazing ground. I will not warn you again. Do you get me? Now, go. I said go. Your Highness, we've made all frantic searches everywhere, but we couldn't find Abuchi. Thank you. Call my daughter, tell her I must see her now. Yes, my queen.
Excuse me. Were you sent for me? Yes, I did. We never had time to talk about the wedding you attended yesterday. How was it? A lot happened, Mama. I was actually waiting till evening when you'll be less busy. It's not too early to tell her sweet stories. Uh, but first, how is a Rima and her health? Uh, she, she's getting better, I think. There is nothing wrong with Erima, and you know that. I was with her mother yesterday, before they left for Amudu. I saw the young man, the so-called Abuchi. He could hardly stand on his feet yesterday's night. They brought him before me. How much your father? Mama, he respects and regards you. He has every reason to be afraid of your presence. Ola, in as much as you dream childishly, I would want you to focus your mind on what your father will do to the both of you the moment he finds out. No, Mama. P Papa must not know, okay? Uh, until he's ready to... Ready for what? For his death? How dare you, Ola? You are a royal blood. Whoever becomes your husband tomorrow stand the chance of becoming the Igwe. Do you know why? Because you are our only child, male, female. Your father refused to marry another woman just for the respect he has for me. And I promised him you will marry a befitting husband of his own choice to reciprocate the love and the respect he has for me. No, Mama. Why? Father cannot choose for me. He will only give me to a stranger. I don't want to spend the rest of my life with a stranger. Ola, you will learn how to stay with a stranger. Tomorrow, the stranger will be your best friend. No, Mama. No. Abuchi is a nobody. He's a disaster waiting to happen to you and to us. Mama, how can you say that? You don't even know him. I don't want to know him. A word is enough for the wise. If there is anything on your mind, I prefer you say it. Why all the silence? Eh? Are you to my son? Papa. I'm an old man. I look upon you with pride. I dream of the day you'll become a man. A married man with children. So big and important in the village. And that dream I will fulfill. Don't worry, okay? In your grave. Eh? Or rather in our graves. Papa, what are you talking about? You sound strange. I'm talking about a great daughter. Are you butchering? She is not the only potential bride in this village or even the next village. I prefer we change the subject, Papa. I'm not going to change the subject. I'd rather we let it all out in the open. I watched your mother shed tears when they were taking you away. She shed tears first time in 20 years. I could hardly stand on my two legs. Papa, it will be for a while. And Hugo will give us. Oh, yeah, but you stay away from that girl. 
Stay away from Igwe's daughter. Why can't you open your eyes and see realities? Papa. Papa, you mean you don't approve of the woman my heart has chosen? Eh, Papa? Choose her. And you choose death upon all of us. I will not approve of it. <laughs> I got your message. I hope all is well. And you should be with your father preparing for the Ugumba festival tomorrow. But I'm worried. I want you to be there. There's no point my coming there. No point? Yes. My family is celebrating, Buchi. <sighs> yes. Your family is celebrating. And so many rich princes from different villages will be coming to shower their wealth on you. Who am I? I have... I have nothing. Just a nobody. You're not a nobody. You're the man I love. And that is why I want you to be there. But... Uh, hola. I have, I have nothing to offer your family as a gift. Nothing. Thank you. What is this? Where did you get this from? It doesn't matter, okay? No, 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 take it back. No, please. I, I, I want you to have it. And I want you to be a... I want the entire village to know and respect you. Please be there, okay? his respect and to pay homage to you and your family during this Ugomba celebration. And after him will be Amadi, son of Ukebu, Igwe of Amelu. And then Mwabwese, son of Nnabwenyi, the fifth. Igwe of Enuama, they are here to pay their homage. Bring them in. Bring them in.
My father have always told me of his deep friendship with you. My mother grew up in this village right before your very eyes. So I might as well be said to be your son. Welcome home, son. Today is your Gumba day. A day you dine and dance with those who call themselves your friends. And I am one of them. And I have come. I have come with a gift. And I challenge any young man, any youth my age, to equal. Igwe, I present to you, I present to your beautiful daughter, Olama, these two fattened cows. Your Highness, I present Prince Amadi, son of Ukebu, Igwe of Amelu. She is the son that shall set at a menu. I was told that when you were born, the son split into two and danced for a long time, refusing the night from coming to pay homage and see you. I, Prince Hamadi, have come to pay homage and I have brought with me all these gifts.
What shall I give, if not gold, the color of the sunset that gladdens my golden heart? from other lands. Welcome to my palace. Igwe. People of Okwama, I look around and I don't like what I see. Are there no men left here? 
And there are no men left here, I ask you. Is there no man of means here to challenge these princes from other lands? Would you like the princess to be married to people from other lands? Now, if you do not, I want to see a man amongst you proud enough Patriotic enough to step out and demand the hand of the princess in marriage. So she remains here. Otherwise, the princess will be married off to somebody from a distant land. Would you like that? No! Then let such a man step out. my son. I am Onyebuchi, son of Ojiako, from this our honorable village, Okwama. Olama. The brightest soul, star of Okwama. On this Ugumba day, Silver and gold have I known. I have nothing to offer you except my heart, my love, and my friendship. All I can promise at this time. It's my everlasting love.
disgrace me like this. Imagine the humiliation, the flagrant disregard for the throne, and all this in the presence of princes from other lands. Just, just look at that. Forgive her, your highness. She's still a child. Maybe the princess did not uh, realize the implication of what she did. Listen, but she is the princess. My own flesh and blood. She ought to have known better. Uh, the young scoundrel who must have deceived her, Your Highness. Well, the deception worked so well that the princess turned down the offer of princes, worthy princes from various lands, and instead decided to settle for a pauper. Let me just look at that. And what I find most disturbing is that those princes are never ever likely to come back. Your Highness, maybe the princess did not know that it was an opportunity for her to choose a befitting husband for herself. No. She's no longer a kid. She knew exactly what she was doing. And to imagine that that scoundrel now roams around Cut free after making a mockery of the Ugumba ceremony. No, he mustn't be left alone. Ogweze. Your Highness. I want you to deal with him. Deal with him so badly that whenever he sees my daughter again, he will run as fast as his legs can carry him to create a distance between two of them. No, 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 Your Highness. We cannot attack him physically. It will be too obvious. All right. Maybe you're right there. But look, Ogweze, I don't care how you do it. I want him dealt with. I want him to feel my wrath, the wrath of the lion. And I know you can do it. Y yes, Your Highness. I know exactly what to do. Now go and do it. Yes, Your Highness. Do it. Do it. Abuchi! Abuchi. Abuchi, come here. Tomorrow, Papa, I need to sleep. You will be resting in your grave if you don't come here now. Oh, what is it, Papa? I am tired. Tired? <clears throat> Did I hear you say you're tired? Tired from what? I was with the village youths. 
we had some drinks after the festival and it was a wonderful time oh all the way from the gomba ceremony where i heard you spread pieces of silver and gold around oh papa you've heard the news <clears throat> now the igwe can respect me and my family I have to sleep. Step an inch and you will see demons now. By the way, Yebuchi, which of my farmlands or young bands did you sell to spread that kind of money on Igwe's daughter? Huh? May the gods forbid. Papa, I didn't sell your land. So where did you get the money from? Oh, yeah, but you tell us the truth. Where did you get the money from? Olama gave it to me. Hey! Olama gave it to you. Oh, yeah, but you. So you have taught that girl how to steal her parents gold and silver. Yeah? Oh, yeah, but you. Are we so poor that you should steal? I didn't steal anything. She brought them to me. Whether stolen or whether she brought it to you, it's all the same thing. And you had the gods to go and spray it in the village? Knowing the kind of family you come from that we cannot afford such? Ola and I understand each other. I know the reason why she did what she did. And I attended the Ugomba festival for a purpose. You promised me that you would not attend that festival. Did you not? Papa, Ola is going to be my wife. And for her, I'm ready to break many more promises. Good night. Hey! Hey! Hello, man. My son is gone. Oh my God, he's gone. I'm finished. Hey, I'm finished. Hey, help! I'm finished, though. should I lie? If I have the money, I will have paid you a long time ago. Who are you trying to deceive? Wait, what ab about? Pretending to be poor. Why you are as rich as the, as the way? Eh? What gives you that impression? Mm -hmm. Eh? Why are you being so insensitive? We all saw your son, Abuchi, showing off at the Goma ceremony, throwing pieces of silver and gold at the crowd. Hey. Yes. My son, Abuchi, that's impossible. Maybe it's, it's a look-alike. This is some kind of, of a job. Yes, a joke. A joke you have played on us for too long. But no more. We are now wise. We shall come back tomorrow for more. Hey. Until your son settles the woman is for us. This, this is the only thought I have. Listen, woman, listen, please. Listen, hey, listen, my listen. daughter. Hey. Hey, Namor. What is all this? Hey. has killed me in this town. Abuchi has killed me. Hey. My humble household, both is a Save your greetings, woman. And listen very attentively. Tell your son not to tread where eagles dare. Tell him to leave my daughter alone. 
With all due respect, my queen, it is your daughter that is the bone of contention here. She keeps pressurizing my son, running your after... Your son is fishing in dangerous waters. Soon, he shall be the victim of the shark. You are warned. With all due respect, my queen, only the guilty are afraid, my queen. Even though we're a poor family, we are not helpless. Our ancestors will continue to defend us, provided we've done nothing wrong. The same ancestors forbid a poor commoner marrying a royal princess. It is a taboo. Tell that your son to leave my daughter Olama alone, or all of you will bear the consequences. Onyabuchi! Onyabuchi! You see what you've cost? You see what you have cost? Because of you, the queen has come here to insult me and intimidate me. All because of that girl. Leave that girl alone. Do you understand me? Leave her alone! Ho! Oh! Look at him. Just look at yourself. Adigwe. The pride of the morning sun. The sweet music that attracts the greatest of dancers and masquerade. The center of attraction of Ugomba. Olamu, have you forgotten whom and what you are? Eh? Great people from far and near regards your father with prestige. To have your hand in marriage is the greatest honor and blessing to any royal family. What an honor you would have done to us. Rather, you humiliated us. Mama, leave me alone. I will not allow you and Papa to use me to achieve your selfish aims. What nonsense are you talking about? I know, Mama. I am not a fool. Why can't I marry a man from this village? Because none of them here is worth it. A hundred of them are worth it. But no! Papa has other plans. He wants to marry me off to a stranger from the neighboring village as a war treaty. Who gave you such stupid idea? Besides, if that's your father's decision towards safeguarding and maintaining the village, let it be. Let it be, Ola. Mama, what about love? What about happiness? Respect in marriage? What about friendship? I want to be my husband's friend, not a stranger. Hola. You will learn how to love whomever your father chooses. But Mama. I already love someone. That insignificant papa you danced with? Perhaps you've forgotten who your father is. I don't care anymore. Really? You don't care? Whenever you look into your father's eyes, do you believe he will ever forgive 
your disobedience by marrying that pauper. That will never happen. has been executed. Good. Very good. So what do we do next? Take the items to Jacob's house. Hide them tonight. And make sure nobody sees you. Consider it done. I am hungry. is complete. The stolen items and the bag of silver will be hidden in Ojako's barn tonight. Good. Now remember, there are always intrusive eyes watching every movement that people make in this village. Ensure that your men do not get seen. Yes, your highness. Beautiful. Abuche is history. Uh -huh. Now one more thing. If you execute this assignment satisfactorily, I shall compensate you adequately. You have my word. Um, consider it done, Your Highness. Good. Good luck. Oh, my 
nyamo Ihu na nyamo Ola mo Ihu na nyamo Mu aju aju Mi na ni ekwe rekwe Ogi ni kem geme Ebe kem geje So ki kem bunobi Ihu na nyamo Obimo Sogi kambu nobi Ihu nanyamo Obimo Sogi kambu nobi Ihu nanyamo Obimo Dear people of Okwama, yeah. Ugomba. Ugomba, thank you. I have listened to your complaints and I have heard your grievances. For a long time we've lived in peace and prosperity in this community. But today things have changed and changed for the worse. There are criminals in our midst who have vowed to make our lives unbearable. They are not only a threat to our society, but a menace to our existence. And I say, death to all of them. 
You know, they think they'll never be caught, but they are wrong, because we shall find them, we shall catch them, and we shall execute them at the village square. Yes. I've instructed my guards to block all exits from this village, because I know that the criminals are within and we shall get them. Ogwes are here, will lead the search. And they will not stop until the criminals are caught. Thank you. Before the search commences, let me ask all of you, has any one of you noticed or suspects anyone whose behavior has changed in the recent times? Anyone? Yes. I know a young man. His name is Abuchi, the son of Ojiako the Kama. Yes. We all know how poor they are. So where did he get the money he was trained around during the Gumba ceremony? Silence! All right, I think we know what to do. Ogweze. Your Highness. Ojako's house shall be your first port of call. Yes, Your Highness. You may proceed. Come, you and you, let's go. My <laughs> Your father's food, eh? These are the herbs. I just made them now. Please make sure he eats the food first before taking the herbs. The food before the herbs. Yes, food before herbs. Okay, mama. All right. I'm okay. Let's go. Yeah. What? That's it. What's going on here? Boy. Eh? What do you people want? We are on the order of the equal to search your entire compound. And house. Why? For what? What are you people looking for? When we find it, you will know. Come on. Search everywhere. Search where? You're looking for maybe if you tell us we'll be able to yes there is nothing here what nothing search again search everywhere go on and search Oh, 
me you carried out the assignment. Trust me. I personally hid it beside the house. Are you sure? Very sure. What do I tell the king now? Have you searched the entire village? Yes, Your Highness. And what about the chief suspect? Did you search his house thoroughly? Yes, Your Highness. But uh, something seemed to be wrong. Yes. Something is wrong. And I know what it is. Shut up. Shut up! You only speak when you are spoken to. And on this particular issue, I don't like to hear your opinion. Father, I have something to say. It is the truth. The people must hear it. Yes. Yes. Yesterday I saw three strangers carrying bags filled with jewelry, silver and gold. I overheard them talk about their escapades. And in their discussion, they mentioned the name of their leader. What is the name of their leader? You heard me. What is the name of their leader? Ogwese. <laughs> you must be joking. I am Joking. You have searched everywhere in this village except one place. What place is that? Your house. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Has anyone searched the place of this man? No. Very well then. There'll be a search of Ogwaza's house. At the end of which I shall deal decisively with my disrespectful daughter. Forgive her, your highness. She's only a child, playing a childish uh, pranks. I shall lead all to my house. But I must warn, I do not think I have enough palm wine for <laughs> everyone. <laughs> right. uh, yes. Come with me. My house, but I have Hold it. We all shall go with you. Yes. 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 The elders. Hey! 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 Hey!
him to the palace. uncovered. We prove he must be beheaded. Yes! So you are behind this, Ola? The culprit will be executed at the village square. That was my father's orders. Or does the lion of Okwama now have thieves and criminals in his kingdom? No! no. Oh, 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 oh. 